Good morning students. My name is Suvas Vora, Assistant Professor of Electrical Department at Sri Swami Narayan Institute of Technology. So start with the new topic. We can learn see the in the last lectures what we seen. So in the last lectures, हमने last lectures में क्या देखा था? उसके बारे में पहले देखेंगे. So in the last lecture we can see the so in the last lecture we can see that the type of the oil circuit breakers so basically oil circuit breakers the during the normal operating conditions the contact of the oil circuit breaker is close and carry the current when the fault occurs in the system the contact of the breakers are moving apart and the arc is struck between the contact we know that the arc is tarah se generate hoti hai ke jab circuit breakers mein contact open hote hai tab due to the air is a conducting medium or the arc is generated so but the oil circuit breaker is different from the other circuit breakers because ke oil circuit breaker mein tank ke andar oil hota hai jo alag uska use karke hum arc reduce kar dete hain aur arc ko destroy kar dete hain so here you can see that one is the fixed contact another one is the moving contact and these are the electrical oils and these are the oil vapor bubbles jaise humne dekha tha ke jab bukus relay mein jab oil ke sath arc chan arc generate hota hai tab the chemical reaction ki wajah se oil vapor bubbles generate hote hain so the oil has the high dielectric strength and provide the insulation between the contact after the arc has been executed so the oil used in the circuit breakers provide the small clearance between the conductor and the earth components so hydrogen gas is formed in the tank which has a high diffusion rate and good cooling properties so in this region the hydrogen gas or the oil it will be used in the circuit breakers so the basically there are the two types of oil circuit breaker the first one is the plain breakers oil circuit breakers and low circuit breaker so in the plain circuit breaker ki agar baat karte hain the constructions of the plain breaker circuit breakers is very simple and it consists of the current carrying conductor immersed in the transformer oil and enclosed the strong earth metal tank the oil act as the insulator between the live parts and the earth head tank as well as the arc existing medium so these are the basic constructions these two are the fixed contact this one is the moving contact and the transformer oil this one is the transformer oil and this base is the air cushions uh, क्या होगा कि वेन दी फॉल्ट इज अगर एट दैट टाइम सर्किट ब्रेकर ओ इज ओपन एट दैट टाइम ये कॉन्टैक्ट मूव होगा डाउन साइड एंड ही अति आर्क जनरेट होगा अब आर्क जनरेट की वजह से ऑयल को केमिकल रिएक्शन की वजह से यहाँ पे बबल जनरेट अप साइड होंगे इसलिए यहाँ पे टैंक आधा खाली होता है एंड देन आफ्टर ड्यू टू द फोर्स ऑफ द ऑयल द आर्क विल बी क्वेंचिंग so during the normal working conditions the contact of the oil circuit breaker is closed and the carry a current and now when the under the fault conditions the contact of the circuit breakers are moving apart and the arc is struck between the conductors or contacts during this large amount of heat is liberated and very high temperature is which is which vaporized and the oil into the gas and then after these can will be absorb the electrons and the r will be quench so these are the minimum oil circuit breakers in this systems one is the arcing device this one is the moving contact ab jab yahan se circuit breaker open hoga tab yahan pe arc generate hogi aur a piston down side jane ki wajah se yahan pe फोर जनरेट होगा और आर्क रिड्यूस हो जाएगी सो इन दिस सिस्टम्स दे हैव द थ्री मेन पार्ट्स टॉप चैम्बर्स 
upper uh, lower chambers and tubular tubular is uh, this one part is the tubular jo r ko reduce karne mein help karti hai so it is known as the low oil circuit breakers and in the bulk oil circuit breakers only the small quantities of the oil is used for the existence of the oil and the major part of the oil is used for the insulations so also the quantities of the oil reaches the high value as the voltage increase and increase in the cost so the size of the tank and the weight of the circuit breaker will be increases so advantage is, is the circuit breaking chambers require the small volume of oils the amount of the oil to be replaced is reduced now we can talk about the supporting chambers it is the porcelain chamber mounted on the metal chambers and it is filled with the oil is physically separate from the oil then after the oil inside the supporting chambers and the annular space from the between the porcelain insulations and the backlist paper is employed for the insulation purpose only now circuit breaking chambers ki baat kare so it is the porcelain enclosure mounted on the tap top of the supporting chambers and it fills the oil and it has the three main parts the first one is upper and lower fixed contact moving contact and last one is the tubular and all three parts are separate from the each other and the lower part and the upper part is separate by the pistons so advantage is it required the less maintenance suitable for the both the automatic and manual it required the small space the cost of the breaking capacity is mva and the disadvantage is the oil deteriorates because of the carbonization there is the possibility of explosions and fires if do not control the arc using of the oil so the blast is the occurs at that time as it the smaller quantity of oil so the carbonization is increases and it is very difficult to remove the gas from the space between the contacts now the advance and the nowadays use of the circuit breaker is sf6 sulfur hexafluoride circuit breakers because the hexafluoride sulfur hexafluoride uh, gas have the properties to absorb the free electron yani ki sulfur hexafluoride ka jo main hai ke wo free electron ko absorb kar deti hai so he this one is the basic constructions this one is the fixed contact moving contact and when the arc is generated the due to the force of this gas the arc will be is destroyed so the sulfur hexafluoride is in the inter heavy gas having a good dielectric and the arc existing properties the dielectric strength of the gas increases with the pressures and is more than of the dielectric strength of the oil which one is the 3 kg per cm2 and sf6 is now being a widely used the gas is a liquid at the certain low temperature and liquidization temperature increase with the pressures so this one is the basic operations of the sf6 circuit breakers so sf6 circuit breakers have the two main parts the first one is the interrupt units this one is the interrupt unit systems which one the interruption of the sf6 in this flag and the destroy the arc and the next one is the gas system here the chamber systems when it will be fixed and one is the moving part so when moving this system the arc will be generated and these are its pressure with the pressures of this flow of the compressor as if this through the magnet and arc will be destroyed this so if in the last lectures we can see that oil circuit breakers and sf6 circuit breakers now today's topic is the today topic six properties of sf6 circuit breakers vacuum circuit breakers and auto reclosers so the properties of the sf6 circuit breakers is the physical properties we can first of all talk about the physical properties so it is colorless then it is the 
odorless than non toxic pure sfc gas is not a useful for health so it gas is the not inflatable then sfc is the electro negative so get a normal temperature pressure so the heavy dye density five times than of the air at the 20 degree atmospheric pressures so start the liquefaction at the certain low temperatures and the temperatures of the liquefactions depends upon the pressures of the gas of liquefactions so this gas is the colorless odorless and non toxic it has the high densities then the liquefactions of the gas the start at the low temperature which depends on the pressures and it has the excellent heat transfer properties so the heat transferability the heat transferability of the sf6 is 2 to 2.5 times that of the air at the same pressures and hence their equal conductor size of the conductor carrying capacity is relatively more now the next one is the chemical properties so stable up to the 500 ton celsius so sf3 gas is chemically inert so that chemically inert so this gas is the advantageous in switch gears the life of the metallic parts of the contact is longer than the sf3 gas because of the component does not get the oxidate or a di electrolyzation yani ki ab usme kaat nahi lagta the life of the metallic part hence the maintenance of the required are reduced and the moisture is very harmful to the properties of the gas in the presence presence of the moisture hydrogen fluoride chloride is formed during the arcing which can attach the metallic and insulating the part of the arc circuit breakers so due to these properties the no more difficult to maintain then after products of these gas are the toxic then metallic fluorescent uh, fluorides are good dye electric materials so that the it absorb the gas easily and recombination of the sf gas is very good and that's why it is the recombined and reconditioned after the arc quenching process with the suitable method for further use so these are the property of the chemical properties now the dye electric properties so dye electric properties so dye electric strength of the sf4 at the atmospheric pressures is 2.35 times that of air and it is the 30% less than the dye electric of oil use so that actually the high pressures actually the speaking this value will depends upon the nature of fixed field existing between the electrodes and which in the terms with depends upon the shape and configurations of the electrodes so so the figures the property of the permit the smaller clearance and the small size of the equipments for the same kv you can see the figures and the last one is the quenching properties so the existing of the ac arc at the instant of the current zero is preliminary influenced by the speed with the which the dye electron strength in the contact cap regenerated immediately before and after the passage of the current is zero so that during of the arcing period the sf3 gas is blow axially along the arc and the gas remove from the heat from the arc by axial conventional and radial dissipated so this is the basic property of the circuit breakers sf6 circuit breakers now advantage is more compact design than other circuit breaker of the similar capacities then operation is relatively quiet then high pressures air compressors and large riser visions not required then fever moving parts hence lesser maintenance the gas is stable and absence of the contact of erosion now the disadvantage is so sf3 gas is expensive 
some toxic product are produces the under the operations conditions and gas field and employing the required skill and costly gas field and equating the equipment so leakage may cause the serious problem and very difficult to handle it or find out so these are the disadvantages of the sf6 circuit breakers now वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर्स वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर की बात करें हम तो वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर्स में क्या होता है कि एक चैम्बर के अंदर जीरो अवकाश इसमें इट मीन्स दैट कि देर आर दी नो एनी एस इन दी चैम्बर्स सो इन सच अ ब्रेकर्स द वैक्यूम इज यूज एज दी आर क्वेंचिंग मीडियम सिंस द वैक्यूम ऑफर्स द हाइस्ट इन्फ्लुएंटिंग स्ट्रेंथ इट प्रोसेस और सीरियस आर क्वेंचिंग प्रॉपर्टीज दैन एनी अदर्स मीडियम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स वी कैन टॉक दी कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ द ब्रेकर आर ओपन इन द वैक्यूम द इंस्ट्रप्शन अकर्स एट अ फर्स्ट करंट जीरो विद दाय इलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ बिटवीन द कॉन्टेक्ट बिल्डिंग अप द रेट थाउजेंड ऑफ द टाइम्स हायर दैन द obtained with the other circuit breakers so that the circuit breaker is divided that interrupt and the electric circuit to prevent the upward current caused by the short circuit typically resulting from the overloading so its basically functionality is to interrupt the current flow after the fault is detected to know more about the circuit breaker read these articles this type of the circuit breaker and its importance so that the vacuum circuit breaker is the kind of the circuit breaker where the arc quenching take place in the vacuum medium and the operations of the switching on the closing of the current carrying conductors interrupted arc interrupted take place in the vacuum chambers and the breaker which called the vacuum interrupter and usko bolte hain vacuum interrupter so now these are the basic systems yahan pe ye circuit breaker hai ye open hote hain aur these are the vacuum chambers so the vacuum interrupter technology was first introduced in the 1916 and but the still it is the developing in the technology as the time goes the size of the vacuum interrupter has reduced from its early 1960s size due to the different technical developments so is development in this field of the engineering so it is very simple in constructions as compared to other other circuits uh, circuit breakers their constructions is mainly divided into the three parts the fixed contact moving contact and arc sheeted which is placed inside the arc interruption chambers so the out, outer uh, evo elope of the vacuum circuit breaker is made up of the glass and because of the gas evo player help to ex, uh, examinations of the breakers from outer side and after the operations if the gas becomes mildly from the original finish of the silver my, uh, mirror and then the nc indicated the breaker is losing the vacuum so in this thing you can see that this one is the fixed contact fixed one is the fixed terminal chemical insulated then this one is the arc chambers then fixed contact moving contact then blow it means ki blow jo one type of spring to moving the moving contact then गाइड एंड द मूविंग कॉन्टैक्ट सेट द मैकेनिकल अब यहाँ पे क्या होता है कि ये सेपरेट होता है तब आग जनरेट होगी बट ड्यू टू देर आर दी नो एनी एयर इन दी सिस्टम्स सो आर्क विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड दैन सो दीज आर दी कंस्ट्रक्शन सो द पार्ट ऑफ द टिपिकल वैल्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फिक्स कॉन्टैक्ट एंड मूविंग कॉन्टैक्ट यू कैन सी दैट दी फिक्स कॉन्टैक्ट दिस वन इज द moving contact and this one is the arcing range so the moving uh, movable member is connected to the control mechanism by the strain street below 
and the enable the param- parameter or permanent sealing of the vacuum member so that they eliminate the possibility of leak so the gas vessel or the caramel vessel is used to outer insulating body so that the gas uh, the arc shaded prevent the die deteriorations or corrosions of the internal dielectric strength by the preventing metallic vapor falling on the inside the surface of the outer insulating covers so now working systems the sections view of the vacuum circuit breaker you can see that when the contacts are separate due to the some abnormal conditions and the arc is struck between the conductor the arc is produced due to the ionizations of the metal ion and depends on the very much on the metal of the contact so the arc is quickly existed because the metallic vapors and the electrons and ions produced the during the arc are diffusing in the short time and the sides by the surface of the moving and the fixed contact so you can see the basic constructions for the यहाँ से सेपरेट होते हैं सो दिस आर दी सेपरेशन ये मूविंग हो जाएगा तो यहाँ पे जो चैम्बर्स है वहाँ पे आर क्वेंचिंग हो जाएगी सो एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस द वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर इज लॉन्ग लाइफ देन अनलाइक ऑल सर्किट ब्रेकर्स और द एयर प्लस सर्किट ब्रेकर द एक्सप्लोस ऑफ द वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर इज एवॉडेड डी टू दी देर आर दे नो एनिंग air or air pressures or oil is placed in the circuit breakers no fire will be hazards the vacuum circuit breaker is the fast in operation so ideal for the further clearing and the it is suitable for the repeat repeated operations the vacuum circuit breakers are almost maintenance free so now what is the disadvantage the main disadvantage of the circuit breaker is that the uneconomical at the voltage exceed of 38 kilo watt so the cost of the breaker become excessive at the higher voltage and more moreover the forte vacuum circuit breakers productions is uneconomical if the production in the small quantities now auto reclosing auto reclosing means the main object of the electrical power system is to maintain the conti- continuity of the powers and to consumers in event of fault the power supply is interrupted about the 80 to 90% of the fault on overhead lines are transmitted in nature so that the auto reclosing is the phenomenon in which the breaker tries to reconnect the line between the two points with the delay or without the delay at a time of the fault so that the fault will be occur at that time the self clearing if the supply is interrupted by the circuit breakers for the short period and the arc path is allowed to deionization the line is reenergized by the reclosing of the circuit breaker jaise circuit breaker open hota hai aur jab arc generate hoti hai waise hi jab circuit breaker close hota hai tab bhi arc generate hoti hai aur us को रिड्यूस करने के लिए जो प्रोसेस होती है उसको बोलते हैं ऑटो रिक्लोजिंग तो द ऑटो रिक्लोजिंग कैन बी डन मैन्युअली और ऑटोमेटिकली ऑटोमेटिकली रिक्लोजिंग ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर आफ्टर एड री ओपनिंग इज नोन एज द ऑटो रिक्लोजिंग बाय मेकिंग द सर्किट ब्रेकर्स ऑटो क्लोजिंग ट्रांसजेंट फॉल्ट डू नॉट रिस्टेब्लिश थेम आफ्टर द रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ द सप्लाई so that as per the one estimated only the 5% fault in the power system is permanent other are the semi transient or the transient in the nature one more established stated that about the 80% of fault so i want to share one feeder tripping of my previous employers com- or company yours so here the one example feeders for the tripping is the nine time from the 5th february 2011 and 5th march 2011 fault tracked and the time will be one time and two eight time no fault we do not have the auto reclosure so due to 
this transient fault our losses is due to depends so the main hours is engaged to the normalized feeders and then after the fuel cost and also the, the potential revenue lost during the undesirable power outage so that the auto reclosing is the time interval between the line removal and the reclosing should be reduce the keeping in the mind that the line must re, uh, remain denaturations for the certain minimum time in outer or order that the line installation should be recovery fully so in these lectures your assignment question is explain the auto reclosing and explain the property of sf6 gas if any query regarding this topic you can call me if any question regarding this topic you can mail me my mail id and contact number is in your screen thank you